Hello, can you hear me? Hello, good evening, can you hear me? Probando uno, uno, cinco. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Estaba probando a ver si me escuchaban. ¿Cómo están todos? Yes, ok. Ok. Bueno, vamos a esperar unos momentos mientras los demás se conectan. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. And you? Very well. Thank you for coming to the class. All right. All right. Silly. Yes. Welcome to the class, everybody. Vamos a esperar solo un par de minutos. Just to wait for the rest of the people to come into the class. Good evening, classmates. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay, we're going to wait just two more minutes to start the class.
Okay, everybody, welcome to the English class. How are you today? Very good, thank you. Perfect. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Perfect. So we are going to start with a. Uh, vamos a empezar en español. Yo sé que ya todos hablan inglés, verdad? Pero vamos a empezar con español viendo la presentación para hacer una pequeña introducción. También sé que todos ya tienen experiencia en cuanto al programa. Entonces estaremos iniciando este día intermediate four. Mi nombre es Eric Alberto Asensio y yo le voy a acompañar este este módulo. Entonces, es un gusto, en primer lugar. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the class. Vamos a ver, como siempre, un par de, de cosas que siempre hay que revisar, ¿verdad? En primer lugar, recordemos que hay que poner el nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Se tiene que ver el nombre ahí en la pantalla para que cuando haya auditoría de Insafor, pues, no haya ningún problema. Entonces, creo que bueno, ahorita todos estamos nice. Let me check. Yeah, I guess everybody is fine. Luego, en el caso de oyentes, pues también agregar la palabra oyente. La cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Ustedes ya saben que esto es muy importante. Entonces hay que tener la cámara encendida. Esto es muy, muy importante porque en el pasado también ha habido situaciones en las que incluso ya no le dan beca a los estudiantes por no tener la cámara encendida. Entonces, please, hay que tener la cámara encendida. Ok. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible por la cuestión de ruidos, aunque siempre pues, pasan situaciones, pero tratemos de, si no estamos hablando, si no estamos participando, de tener mute. Participación activa, pues esto es muy importante, más que todo ya en este nivel, que es el intermedio, que sería ya de, de hablar mucho. ¿verdad? Vamos a hablar muchas cosas. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta ahorita? No, no. Very good. Entonces, seguimos. La asistencia es al 100% de las clases. Recordemos que hay que venir a las clases, es muy importante. Y la asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también el cumplir con la clase completa. Ustedes también ya tienen experiencia de que, ya saben de que Insafor cuenta incluso los minutos que estamos conectados. Eh, la asistencia se toma en tres ocasiones, a las ocho, a uno la he tomado. Yo casi siempre espero unos dos minutos para que los demás, los que van tarde o hay problemas con la conexión, se puedan conectar. Luego vemos la plataforma y luego vemos la asistencia. Y pues luego se toma a las nueve y a las nueve cincuenta y cinco. Igual, ¿verdad? Yo pregunto el nombre y ustedes me dicen present, here o algo por el estilo. Recordemos también que hay sesiones uno a uno todos los días. Entonces, eh, hay... Ya vamos a ir viendo quién le toca, pero igual recordemos que si alguien no está, a otra persona puede tomar el lugar de la, de la persona a la que se le ha asignado ese día. ¿Ok? Eh, recordemos también que no hay permisos disponibles. Hay muchos que de repente le escriben a, al teacher, ¿verdad? Mire, fíjese de que me pasó X situación y pues yo le voy a decir que sí, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Sin embargo, es Insafor el que, el que va a validar toda esa situación. No, no hay, la verdad, permisos disponibles. Pero pues... Cualquier cosa, pues, está bien que me, me escriban y me cuenten qué es lo que sucede. ¿Alguna pregunta antes de continuar? No, no questions. Very good. Entonces, bueno, la fecha acá está mal, pero eh, luego dice, es necesario obtener el 80% por medio de tareas. Yo sé que también ustedes ya... Ya saben esto, ¿verdad? Las evaluaciones que van, las, las tareas que hay que estar haciendo en la plataforma y además el midterm test y el final test. Eh, las tareas que están en la plataforma ya las vamos a revisar. Eh, los temas, o sea, nosotros vemos un tema y yo sé que ustedes ya saben de qué hay que hacer la tarea esa misma noche, ¿verdad? Y que se mandan las notas a Insafor el sábado. Entonces, para los viernes ya tiene que estar hecho todo, toda la las tareas de la, de la semana que estamos terminando. Eso es muy importante. Entonces, uh, las fechas aún no están actualizadas, pero yo se las actualizo después porque quiero ver qué fechas son las que no vamos a estar en clase por la vacación de Semana Santa, que creo que sí nos, nos llega a afectar. Eh, y luego el manual que puede ser descargado, también yo sé que ustedes ya conocen todo esto. Y 
bueno, el botón de silencio, el mute, la cámara encendida, please. E igual, pues, podemos usar el chat. A veces vamos a usar los breakout rooms, aunque a mí me, ha, me gusta más hacerlo así en, en directo. Y luego el botón de ask for help. Si tienen preguntas o dudas, en cualquier momento me pueden preguntar lo que sea. Anything, ¿ok? So, questions. Any questions so far? So far, so good. Ok. So, we are going to... Ok. So we are going to start, we're going to check some uh, situations. The topic for today is advantages and disadvantages of distribution channel. So participants will be able to describe details about the stages of the distribution channel. But before we move on with the class, uh, I don't know if you have been together in this same group for the whole intermediate or the whole English class. So. We're going to introduce ourselves, of course. That is what we're going to do first. So I'm going to be the first, okay? Hello, my name is Eric. I live in Santa Ana. I've been teaching English for around 10 years. And uh, well, this is not my main job, but I really enjoy to teach. So it's very, very interesting. Nice to meet you. I uh, also like music a lot. I like to watch movies, uh, TV shows, read books, and um, play music. So that is very important for me. And um, do you have any questions about me? Questions? Okay, so we are going to start with, let's see, Osmin Baires. Hi, teacher. Hello. Present. So please tell us, tell us uh, about you. Tell us about where you live. What are your hobbies? What do you like to do? Why are you learning English? Right. Yes, teacher. My name is, is Osmin Baires Solorzano. I live in the city Colón, Lourdes. Uh, I like uh, listening to music. A gospel, and I like play soccer. Uh, I, I look, and I have interest in learning English. Okay. Very good. Why are you learning English? Because of your job? Because of you want to travel? Why? Uh, for me, it's important for travel, for uh, uh, any job, it's important in every moment. Very good, perfect, thank you very much. Now, okay. Ana Michelle Guevara. Hello, good evening, uh, I'm Michelle Guevara. Uh, I'm 30 years old. Uh, I like uh, listen to music, I like uh, reading books, I like um, painting, and um, for me, um, I'm. Uh, I want to learn English because I like to travel. Very so good. This is the reason. What kind of music do you like? Sorry, what? <laughs> what kind of music do you like? Mm, in my case, um, music in English, I I really love the um, 80s, 90s, and uh, uh, the pop, electronic, and so on. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you very much, Michelle. Uh, let's see Ada Patricia Linares. Mm, good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. My name is Ada Patricia Linares. I'm living in San Salvador. Um, I like um, watch TV. Um, um, I study English for my life. You like 
very good, perfect. What kind of TV shows do you like to watch? Excuse me? What kind of TV shows do you like to watch? Um, uh, movies, movies, action. Action movies, good. Oh, action nice. movies. <laughs> Very good, perfect, thank you. So now, Mayra Melanie Guevara. Hello, good evening. My name is Mayra Guevara. I am 34 years old. I live in Lourdes. I like to watch series and I am uh, learning English because it is necessary for my job. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Zulma Rosaura Lopez. Hi, I'm Zulma Lopez. I am living in San Salvador, but I born in a uh, I am a business intelligence analyst at San Jose, and I think it's important for any activity what do you want uh, in my work we uh, related we relation with providers of other countries and we need to talk uh, this place very good very interesting thank you Zulma okay Anna Zelmi Chavez. Hi, good evening. Nice to meet you, teacher. Um, nice my name is Ana Selmi Chavez. I am auditor. I live in Ciudad Merlo, Santa Tecla. I like uh, to watch TV. I like uh, the movies, the comedies, and sitcom in general. I prefer the, the activities for relaxing when I have time because my I, ha I have a lot of activities during the, the week and during the weekend because I study, I uh, prepare class because I am teacher too in the university, in the in college. Um, in my job is very, very, um, I have a lot of activities, but uh, I love my, my life. <laughs> it's stressful, but <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, very well, thank you very much. Okay, now Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Uh, hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. My name is Gloria Linares. I, I live in San Salvador. Um, my sister is a uh, Patricia. Um, mm -hmm. It's my uh, partner. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I learn uh, the English for my job. Okay, very well. Thank you, Gloria. Okay. Uh, Jancy Lisbeth Hernandez. Okay. Hello, my name is Jancy Hernandez. I work in Nido, San Miguel, and a content. Um, in my free time, I dedicate um, to my, my business. Um, I study English uh, for my development profession, professional development, and uh, because in the future I like to travel. To travel. Only that. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Carla Vasquez. Good evening, my name is Carla Vázquez. I live in Zaragoza. In my free time, I listen to music. And I like to uh, watch TV 
Um, but my favorite uh, hobby is cook. Um, I work at Edison and I want to uh, learn English because I I need apply in my job. Only that. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carla. Now, Rosa Elena Salgado. Good evening. My name is Good Rosa Elena Salgado. I'm 51 years old. I have two children. I live in La Gloria, San Salvador. And I like to listen to music, watch uh, movies or series. And I study in English because I like it. And I think that is a lifestyles now, nowadays. Perfect, very good, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, now let's see. Um, let me just check who's missing. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Hello, good evening. Uh, well, good evening. my name is Pamela. Um, you can call me Pam. Um, I'm 25 years old. I'm fashion designer. And well, I, I think uh, to learn English is necessary. And depend on what kind of uh, you can use them. Um, and I like to watch TV. Uh, I like to spend time with my pet, my dog. Um, I like to sleep a lot. Um, I like to draw in. Oh, very good, perfect. So, and do you create a lot of runways? Uh, not exactly, but yes, I, uh, part of my job, uh, my personal brand is about um, runways. Very good, Maya. That's nice, interesting. Maybe one day I will see some of your work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Now, Sandra Gladys Mendez. Good evening. Everybody, mm -hmm. um, my name is Sandra Gladys Mendez. Uh, I am uh, 40, 47 years, years old. Um, I live in Planet de Renderos. Uh, I like pupusas. Uh, I like listening music, uh, and bachata, and romantic uh, ranchera. Um, I am uh, study uh, English. Uh, I think it's necessary for the life. Uh, it personally, I interest for me. Okay, very good. Thank you, Sandra. Now, Rafael okay. Ernesto Gonzalez. Sorry. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Rafael. I live in La Union. And, and my favorite hobbies are what watching TV, listening to music, and social network, play my with my son and play the piano and others. Oh, and that's interesting, very good. I'm, I'm learning English because I like it. And I see uh, I can find a better opportunity about uh, jobs and and academic studies, studies, and to if I learn English, I can uh, talk with my with my American family or uh, yes on. Okay, perfect. Very interesting. Thank you, Rafael. 
Okay, now Lourdes Beatriz, Iraita. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, hey. classmate. My name is Lourdes. Um, I am 27 years old. Um, international marketer. Uh, actually, I work in Manuchar de El Salvador. My, uh, my work is, or my job is assistant commercial, commercial assistant. And in my free time, I like uh, watch movies in Netflix or other platform. I am listening to music and uh, I play with my uh, with my um, sobrinos. I don't Nephew. remember. Nephew. 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 Yes. And uh, I I like to play with my pet. Uh, her name is Luna. Mm, very nice, good, perfect, thank you. Okay, now Adriana Martinez. Good evening. Can you can you see? I can hear, but I cannot see. Let me just check. I have I have problems with my internet and I connect with my cell phone. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, hello. Uh, okay. I can see you right hello. now. Hello. Uh, my name is Adriana Martin. I'm I have the song and I like and dance and listen to music. Uh, I live in Antiguo Cuscatlán. I work in Central America Swimming World El Salvador in the area in safety and health occupational. And I learning English. And I am learning English because it's very important for my profession. And I think it's very important in, in my life and the life. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Sustana Hernandez. Hi, good evening, everybody. Well, my name is Susan. I live in Delgado in San Salvador. I work in Laboratorios Pile in commercial area. And my job is analyst. I really like watch TV. I like read. I like listen to music. I want to learn English because I get a benefit in my job. Yeah, very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see, Flor de Maria. Hi, good evening. Good evening. And my name is Flor Carballo. I live in San Salvador. Uh, I like uh, listen to music and dance uh, i have a dog and i learning english because it is very important for my job okay very good perfect thank you now guadalupe del carmen uh, you did it already right yes Good evening. Okay, perfect, thank you. I was just remembering. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I am uh, Guadalupe, my name is Guadalupe Lopez. I work in handwork. I am sample manager. Uh, I have two children. Uh, I am 43 years Oh, and I like the learn the English. 
Perfect, thank you very much. <laughs> now, Sandra Gladys Mendez. Ah, oh, you did it already, I remember, no worry. Yeah, I didn't remember <laughs> that you did it. Uh, let's Thank see you. who's missing. Ophelia Orellana Arce. Ophelia, hello. Hello, teacher, pero voy en camino, teacher. Ah, okay, don't worry. We're gonna wait. Be careful, don't crash. Okay, let's see who else is, Susana. Let's see, who's missing? Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. Sorry. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay, uh, I'm Nelson Sanchez. I. I marry and I have a 51 year and I work in the Huawei in the area of transmission in the cable television, the system. And, and my, I really like the listening to music and arts. Also, uh, they read uh, any book. We, and my my hobby is practice the informatic. Yes, and and for me is uh, the language English is important important, but and I I need in in the my work. But I I have more more goals in my life, and is it that teacher? Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see, um, Ricardo Alexis. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Ricardo Alexis Fuente Rodriguez. Is I living in Ciudad Delgado, San Salvador, uh, working uh, at LOTME, is a uh, technic, um, entertainment is a uh, drive uh, my motorcycle, is a visit a uh, place, uh, uh, playing football. That's all, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Bye, Bye, teacher. Very nice. <laughs> Be careful there. Okay, and um, who else is missing? Everybody did it, right? Zulma Rosaura, you did it, right? Okay. Yes, yes. Perfect. Okay, so we are going to, now that we introduce ourselves, we are going to check the attendance, which is very important for the record. So. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. So for you is the, the first one on one today, okay? At the end of the class. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present teacher. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present teacher. Ophelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Here, teacher, Ophelia. Eh, Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Son 
but it's cooking there. <laughs> okay, Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodriguez. Not here, okay. Uh, Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Present teacher, Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Perfect, thank you. Okay. Oh. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Um, did I not mention anybody? Me. Zulma Me Rosaura López. Oh, okay. Let me see. No, you're no in my yeah. case, uh, I'm Anna. Anna. Let me just yes. check. I'm as a listener. Okay. Let me just check. So, is uh, what is your name? Just Anna? Anna and Anna, Flor? No. Anna Michelle Guevara. Oh, yes. Yes. Guevara. I'm going to check here, but I'm going to put it right now, okay? Uh, anybody else was missing? Teacher, present me, Rafael. Okay, Rafael. Very good. Okay. So the rest of the people, I mentioned your name, right? Okay. I have a question for you. Uh, can you hear me and see me very well? Yes, I can hear you. I can see you. Yes, I see. I see you. Very well. Now, it's, it's just a question because this is a new device, the one that I'm using right now. So I wanted to be sure. Okay, so we're going to check about the platform. I know that you have the experience, but just in case, right? So this is the uh, fourth module. And of course, there are four sections. So right now, we're going to start with the first one the section number one and uh, the next question is do you all have access to the platform everybody has access to the platform already right okay so remember that not on the first class but a uh, Starting tomorrow, we're going to have a little question for us to discuss here. Teacher, uh, sorry. Hello, yeah. Uh, in my case, when I I connect at the platform, I don't have the the material, never. Only only checks uh, in the course, uh, last course. Uh, but uh, uh, so no, you don't have this new it. course? Yes, no new course now uh, um, in the new platform. No, not how the the material never. Okay, so but you are able to log in, right? So you are able to go into the platform, but you are not able to see the new. Let me just check. Yes, I'm going to report uh, today, it right now. Because... Today, for afternoon, I I call the the ASAP for, and I I report. In the case. Okay, I'm going to report right now to the people here on the platform. Okay, so let me see Nelson, right? Anybody else has a problem with the platform? I don't know. Only me. I am yeah, not sure. Were you able to log in? Uh, maybe you can try to go into the platform. If by any chance you are not able to to go into the platform or you don't see the, the correct module, please chat with me, okay? And I'm going to report. So that is the next question. Do you have access to the chat, to the Groupal chat? Yes. Yep. Yes. 
Okay, very well. So that is, is very important because group. we need to communicate, right? If you, you have request. questions, if you have anything that you want to ask, uh, yes? I'm sorry, teacher. It's the same group of the chat. With the new yeah, group. The, the group of the chat, yeah. It's a new. Yeah, it's a new one. That was created like last week, I guess. And we started, for example, today, uh, always in every class I'm going to send a message telling you that I'm connected. We're in class already, I'm going to say. So it's going to be mm -hmm. almost always around five minutes before eight. So if you have questions, if you want to practice or do whatever, I'm going to be here five minutes before eight. But um, I, the chat I is only, important for communication. So I hmm? only received the messages of the Luis Bonilla with the oh, link okay. of this class. But for the hmm. new group of the chat uh, in the WhatsApp, and I don't have access to the new group. Okay, can anybody please uh, send the, the link of the chat to the chat here in Zoom so she can she can bring it? Thank you. Uh, well, I, I don't Thank know, you. but uh, well, I see that Luis sent me a, a message and the, yeah. the message said uh, the link about WhatsApp oh, okay. and the, the link. The of, uh, okay. But you can try yeah. and if you don't have, okay. play me. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. It's a, it's a pleasure, okay? So everybody has access then to the platform and to the chat, right? Yes. Okay, very well. So let's go back to, to the platform here. And just remember that uh, at the end of every class, there is going to be a question here for us to discuss. And uh, it can be regarding grammar, it can be any question related with the topic, or it can be any other kind of question. And uh, the homework for today is this one. 1.1 so uh, read the definitions and select the best word so it's just five questions you are going to read here the uh, the uh, situation and then we're going to, to take what is the best option okay that will be it okay and also remember that here you can download the manual for the for the group for the whole module okay so we can do that one do you have any questions besides this? No questions. No, no question. Thank you. Sure. No but, question. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Teacher, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, you can send in the, the material in the mic. Uh, on the group, the WhatsApp. Please. The presentation of this class. Yeah, I'm going to send the screenshot for the presentation tomorrow in the morning. And yes, I'm going to share also the, the material, the book for you to download. It. Nice. Perfect. So this is the platform and I believe that you don't have any question about that one. Remember that we need to do the homework today at the end of the class, that should be it. And uh, we're going to start then with our class. So, so the first topic, uh, we're going to discuss a little bit about the topic. What kind of company do you work for? This is the first question. Anybody wants to share? What do you do in your company? My company is the service sector. Service, very good. That is nice. Yeah. Any other person? wants to share? I work in a laboratory. We make movies. Oh, so that is services as well. Very nice. Any other? My company is construction. Construction, that is part of the Yes. Very well, interesting. Any other, maybe two more people? Me teacher. Go ahead. I work in GM, JM Telcom. We are a company that uh, offers service uh, related to uh, access control, surveillance systems, um, headsets, 
Um, how do you say telefonia? Phone. Phone lines oh. for broadcasting things like that. Oh, broadcasting, yeah. Broadcasting service. Yeah. We uh, seek um, with firewalls. The company has many, a many, or a different uh, brand. Very good. Perfect. Yeah. That is very interesting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's course i think that is for me because i work at the warehouse <laughs> okay very good that yeah. is interesting because yeah. yeah we're going to discuss about a distribution channel yes so i was i was looking at the material you know. and i say oh that's my course <laughs> <laughs> very well i'm very happy so you're going to help us whenever anybody has questions and things like that yes <laughs> <laughs> perfect thank you Okay, anybody else? One more, please. Okay, in my job is the generation of uh, and distribution of electric uh, electrical energy. Okay. Mm, very interesting. Yeah, lots of services companies here. Very yeah. good. Nice. Okay, uh, what do you understand about distribution? What is distribution? In your words, of course. Aha, uh -huh, anybody? In Remember the- We distribute medicine, vitamins, analgesics, antibiotics. Yeah, you can distribute medicine, right? Across yes. the country. Very good. So, uh, any other way, opinion? The what distribution is, is the activities. Uh, uh, the main objective is put the product in the hands of the consumers or clients. Very good. So that is the main purpose, right? The main purpose is that you have a product and that you have to distribute to the clients. Might be the final consumer or might be any other kind of client, but you need to move the product from place A to place B. Very good, perfect. So if we know that distribution is to come or, or to take something from point A to point B, what is the channel of distribution? The channel of distribution is like a chain, like a chain uh, um, uh, like a chain business or intermediate 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 that uh, Very good. put the the product uh, to the to the final client, I think. Very yes. good, perfect. So that is, go ahead. Uh -huh. Depend of the model of the business, because um, the there are business less complex that the distribution is direct between the the company uh, to clients. But there are the other model of the business that the distribution is very complex. It is very, very key for the, for the competitive, the, how do you say, competitive uh, advantage if the company has a good channel of the distribution is important in Coca-Cola, for example. <laughs> very good. Yeah, actually that is very true. So it's not all the companies are the same and they do not distribute the same. For example, when you go to Walmart, let's say, uh, you see lots of products there, but they do not produce those. So they do not build the the things that you see there. So it's like for final consumer, but it's not the company that creates everything. 
And there are other companies that they create a product, but they do not distribute to the final consumer. Like, like she says, uh, Coca-Cola, she, uh, that company go comes and brings the product to many stores, big stores, uh, small stores, and they distribute to the stores itself, not to the final consumer. So there are many different kinds of businesses, different kinds of um, companies that, are, of course, they are going to need different channels of distribution. So very good, perfect. So what kind of companies need to distribute their products? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What kind of companies need to distribute their products or services? The food companies, for example, Molsa distribute the, the, how do you say, Arena? I forget. It. Oh my God. <laughs> um, flow. Molsa, oh, the flow. The flow, yes. Molsa have to distribute the flour to Pizza Hut, uh, Domino's Pizza, and bakeries. Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, I think that big companies, but not big companies, a little companies, they have to distribute their products. Yeah, so that is true. So large companies and also small companies. It's yeah, every, I believe that everybody. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh -huh. Any other opinion about this one? What kind of companies need to distribute their products or services? I think it's the companies like sells a product, like like you need, like you you can touch, and the service too. You need that sometimes. Yeah, sometimes that that, that is um is possible. I mean, services maybe is less less common that they distribute their services. What what they distribute sometimes is like marketing or the offers to public uh, information about their services. Um, the, but products, I mean, when we're talking about products, all the products needs to be distributed. So every, every company, it doesn't matter if it's a large or small company, they need to be distributing the products and services. Good, perfect. Questions so far? Okay, so these are the seven most popular types of businesses. So this is what we want to start with. Are you able to read? Do you do you see the the letters? Yes, no, or maybe I do a presentation. I am in the phone. I have a I have a difficulty for read. Okay. And I think that let's see if this works. Okay, now it's better. Yes, it's good. Yes, it's better. Yeah, I'm much better. Very Thank good. you. Ah, it's a pleasure. So now these are the seven most popular types of businesses. Okay, who wants to read the first one? Me. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, so proprietorships owned by one person, no legal or financial distinction between business and business owner. Very good. So sole proprietorship owned by one person only, no legal or financial distinction between business and business owner. So this is like the most common businesses here in El Salvador, right? So it's like I distribute, I produce shoes, for example. There are many companies in El Salvador that they do, or they create shoes and they distribute themselves. So maybe it's not one person, like four or three people, but uh, it's just like a small company with 
uh, no legal or financial distinction between business and business owner. So do you have any question about the first one? No questions. No. Everything is clear as horchata. Nice. OK, the second one. Who wants to read the second one? Me, teacher. OK. Partnerships. Business, financial, and legal responsibilities equally divide. Must be registered for IBS purposes. Very good. So this is a partnership that is a business financial and legal responsibilities equally divided. So everybody pays the same amount of money, right? Everybody is legal in the same level. Uh, um, it's responsible, I mean. Everybody uh, is part equally in the business. And the second one, it says, must be registered for IRS purposes. Do you know what is the IRS? No. It's social Anybody? responsibility. Mm, it's not no. social responsibility. Oh, uh -huh. okay. For IRS purposes. That is for the US, but we have something very similar in El Salvador. So in the US, the IRS are the taxes that you go that you pay to the government. So here we have yeah. Ministerio de Hacienda, who is yes. like the IRS. So you must Same be thing. registered in the Ministerio de Hacienda so you can have legal and financial responsibility. And uh, of course you pay taxes. In our case, in our case, teacher, inclusive the sole proprietor, uh, according the tax laws, is registered in the tax administration. That is true. According to the law, everybody should be registered for the IRS, right? But it's not the it's not the case. Almost everybody is like yes, it, informal it, sector. It, it's not. Exactly, there is a lot of informal sector. But yes, there are many uh, there are many sole proprietorship companies that they are registered and they do everything in a very nice way. I don't know. So the next one it says. Uh -huh. no, who, wants to, me, who wants to read it? Uh, go ahead. Me, We can listen to you, teacher. Mute. Left teacher. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Now, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Listen. Okay. Something happened here. Okay, sorry. Okay, uh, so who wants to read the next one? Me? Me, Sandra? Okay. Limited Please go partnership. Ahead. Okay, limited partnership. Gideon for does interested is raising capital from investor who are in active in day-to-day -day duties. Very good. So the next one is a limited partnership. Ideal for those interested in raising capital from investors who are in active in day-to-day -day duties. So this is a little bit different because there are people that pay pay for shares or pay for, they, they, they set the capital for the company, but they don't do the job. So they just put the money. Other people, they are the ones who do the job. So there are two kinds of people, right? The ones who put the capital there and the ones who do the actual job. So that is the difference between this and the other one that is just a partnership, okay? Daily activities, daily activities. <laughs> Yeah, that means that they are not, uh, when it says they who aren't active in day-to-day -day duties, it means that they, they don't go to the office every day. They don't do reports. They don't do anything like that. They just put the money. And because they 
set the money for the company uh, that's their job the only job is to to set the money for the for the company and sometimes take some decisions on what the to do what not to do. Uh -huh. so that is a, a an investor it will be the word investor is the the person who just bring the capital to to one company and, and that's it right okay who wants to read the next one i'm going to read corporation Perfect. corporation independent multiple shareholders appropriated for established businesses with employees very good so this is a larger company a corporation that is an independent multiple shareholder so there are a lot of people that put some money those are the shareholders you know the shareholders is like when when people when a company a large company they put some uh, shares in the in, in wall street for example they go to wall street and they put some shares at a price a fixed price per share so there are people that come and pay for the shares and they are the shareholders. And uh, in that way, they get the money for the company. And now they are part of the company. They own a piece of the company. And uh, this is for large companies that have employees. So it's more like that. Do you have any questions about this? Okay. So who wants to read LLC? Anybody wants to read the LLC? The teacher. Okay. Okay, perfect. LLC, brand of partnership and corporation, no personal property. All right, let's regulation. Very good. So the LLC is a blend. So it's a mix. Blend okay. is like a mix of partnership right. and corporations. So it's a mix of the second one and the fourth one. Uh, and no personal property at risk. So that means that you're going to be responsible only for the business itself. If something happens with the with the company, they cannot, the the people, uh, other companies, they cannot come and take your house or your car or anything like that. So it's, you are responsible only for the money that you put in the company. That is it. And has less regulation. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated because um, you need to accomplish certain levels of, of things for you to create an LLC, a limited company. So, but, um, well, we are not going to go into that one right now. Any questions about this? Okay, the other one is a very interesting one. Anybody wants to read the nonprofit? Me, teacher. Okay. Nonprofit. Earning pay expenses of company can apply for tax exempt status. Very good. So the nonprofit organizations are earnings pay expenses of company. Uh, there is no money that you put into the company. And the nonprofit almost always is to help people because uh, you know what is profit, right? What is profit? In English, of course, what is profit? Rentabilidad. In English, and the profit is the return of the investment for the for the, the shareholders. In the case of the company, the profit is the result. The shareholder wait in the end the the fiscal year. Very good. So the profit is exactly. Sorry, teacher. Go ahead. Now, in the case of the not profit, in, in, in El Salvador, is in the 
NGO, the non government organization that the main objective is not get profit, is the social project, the execu execution of the social project. Very good. That is exactly what it is. So the profit is exactly what the objective of any company. For example, if you have a product and you purchase a product in one dollar and you sell it in one dollar and a quarter, the quarter is the profit. Is what you put into your pocket, right? So uh, the non-profit organizations are the ones that are the the main objective is not to gain money. It's not to get money, it's to help people. So they get money to create such projects and help other people, organizations, or anything like that. So that's why it's a nonprofit, and that's why they can apply for tax exempt status. That that means that they don't pay any taxes, right? Like here in El Salvador. Pay the taxes for income. I'm sorry. Pay the tax for ingresos? For income, I guess it depends. It depends. Uh, not all the time. It depends on the. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, sir. Non profit is like uh, ONG. ONG. Exactly. That would. Yeah, it's a non governmental uh, institution or organization. In English, we call it non profit. So it's just for Excellent. social projects and things like that. Very good. Exempt? Ex exempt? Exempt. Exempt. Yeah, tax exempt. It means that they do not pay taxes. Ah, okay. No profit. Entonces, Very I don't good. Know pay taxes. Exactly. If you are tax exempt, that means that you, you don't pay tax. Uh, of course, there is a procedure. You need to, to present the paper uh, with some credentials telling the government, you know, I, I'm working for the people, right? So, and then the government says, okay, you are tax exempt. You don't pay tax. Okay. Very good. Any other question before we continue? Okay, the last one. Who wants to read the last one? Co op. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Earnings dividing among members, no external it's is stakeholders, member use the services. It's services. Very good. Very good. So a co-op is uh, for earnings divided among members. Uh, no external stakeholders. So all the members they pay, right? and the members use its services. So you are part of the company and also you use uh, the services. And this is exactly like in El Salvador, right? So that is exactly the same, co-op, a cooperative, right? So it's like when people, they, when you are going to enter into that kind of businesses, you need to pay, right? Not only to pay some money for you to have an account, but also to, to like shares, they are like shares. So give to the co-op. Do you have any questions on any of these type of businesses? Questions? Okay, we're going to stop a little bit because we are going to check the attendance, attendance once again, okay? So let's see how it goes. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. 
Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Dinares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present teacher. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present teacher. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Sorry. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Very well. Thank you. Okay, we're going to continue then with the class. Let me just check and change here. Okay. So let me just check this one. Okay, so what is distribution? Who wants to read this one, please? Hey teacher. Okay. What is distribution? Distribution is the activity of both selling and delivering products and service from manufacturer to customers. Very good. So in general, of course, there are other definitions of this one, but in general, distribution is the activity of both selling and delivering products and services from manufacturer to customer. Remember the customer is not always the final customer. So it might be an intermediary, a retailer or anything like that. So, uh, but the distribution is that one. So to, to, to send something from point A to point B, and of course you need a channel for, for you to do that one, okay? So that is actually the next one. Who wants to read the next one? Yes, teacher. Please. What is a distribution channel? The distribution channel is that part that of a product or service takes in order to be served from the manufacturer to the customer. Very good. So it's the path. So there are the steps, the way in which a product or service takes in order to be sent from the manufacturer to the customer or from one company to one a company or to distribution centers. So depending on the company, depending on the product, depending on the size of the company, depending on many factors, that is going to be, uh, depending on that is going to be the, the distribution channel. It's going to be totally different for each company. And sometimes also you, we can improve, we can change that distribution channel. So we're going to have something better in the future. Any questions before we continue? If you have questions about anything, a word, vocabulary, pronunciation, 
anything you can ask me, of course, we're going to stop and check into that one, okay? Also remember that if you have questions after the class, you can chat with me directly, personal, or also you can do it in the group. And of course, it will be a pleasure to help you out. Okay, so we are going to watch the video. So let me see, it's going to be this. Okay, uh, I'm going to play a little bit and let me know if you are able to see and hear very well. So do you, do you listen very well? I can see, but yes. I can listen. I see. Yes, I listen. Not. Mm, okay. I'm gonna. Okay. Let me try this way. Let's see how it goes. Hold a second. Sometimes it takes a while to to get a full screen. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to play it and just uh, pay attention, and then we're going to discuss what you understood on the video. I'm gonna play a little bit more and let me know if you are able to see and hear. No listen. Can you hear and, and see? No listen, teacher. It doesn't listen anything? No listen. No, that listen. is weird. Just yeah. see. Okay, let me just check something. Okay, let's give it a shot here. Can you hear now? Yes. Okay, you were listening. That's good. I'm going to leave it like that. So please pay attention. And whenever that finishes, we're going to discuss uh, what you understood on the video, okay? The boy, the man, no listen. So you don't listen anything? No, no, no complete. No, that... Not yet, teacher. You can listen. Not yet. Okay. No. Se corta. Ah, okay. So it's like the quality. You are able to, but it's not that good. Okay. Don't worry. We're going to do that tomorrow then. I'm going to use another device. That's, that's why I was asking you because this is a new device. And uh, I was just testing it today. But if it's not working, I'm going to use a different computer tomorrow, okay? So we can, we can see the videos and also the communication is better. Perfect, so in that case, we're going to continue with the rest of the class. So this is, uh, I'm going to present you that. So distribution channel, in a nutshell, do you know what is in a nutshell? This is a very common expression in English. When you say, for example, uh, cooking lasagna in a nutshell, you can do that. Or how to learn English in a nutshell. So, but what is in a nutshell? What do you understand on that? In a nutshell, this is one channel. No, I'm sorry. In a nutshell, it's not like uh, something hard or covered with a. Uh, it's a concha, no? No, no, it's a concha. In it's like Spanish? that, but the expression, uh, the expression in a nutshell is not referring to the object itself. So the expression in a oh. nutshell, do you know ah, what is then, that? Then the in pocas palabras. Uh -huh. With a small yeah, size, yeah, very good. Something, yeah, so briefly, right? Mm -hmm. So, distribution channels in a nutshell is like briefly in a very, very easy and basic way, right? In a basic context, can I say? Uh, very, well, that's very good, perfect. Uh, let's see, we're going to listen now to Carla Vasquez. Could you please read? 
this part. Distribution channel in a nutshell. A distribution channel is the set of steps it takes for a product to get in the hands of the key customer or consumer. Distribution channel can be direct or indirect. Distribution can also be physical or digital, depending on the kind of business and industry. Very good, perfect. So a distribution channel is the set of steps. So that is the first thing. So there are many steps, it's not just one step. So there are like a procedure, a process, right? That you say, you, number one, you do this, number two, you do this. It's not, it's not only the way to, to carry, to, to transport a product, but also it's like the quality of the, of the package, uh, the size, the color, many things are important, right? So uh, the set of steps it takes for a product to get in the hands of the key customer or consumer. So there are two things. The key customer, it means for me, this is my customer, right? There are many other customers with this product, but for me, for my company, this is my customer, or it could be the final consumer, okay? Distribution channels can be direct or indirect. So that is another thing that is important. It can be something that is, it goes through or is indirect. We're going to check into that one later on. Distribution can also be physical or digital. Mm, interesting. What do you think is this? Why a distribution channel can be physical or digital? Uh, for me, it depends on the product. Uh, is is uh, learning is digital is excellent. Is physical product is um, is, is different. Very good, perfect. Any other opinion? What is that? What is uh, to be distributed in a physical or digital way? And me, teacher, for example, when uh, it's a product physical, is possible that the distribution have any can any channel, for example, um, a store or delivery, because it's now very, uh, very, uh, what is the word? Is is very um, common. It's very common at delivery. And in a uh, product digital, for example, is a uh, our training or a learning a English class, for example, is a digital product because you have a uh, deliveries of a service. Very good. So that is very, very, very true. I mean, uh, the examples that you provided were very nice because digital, for example, this class, um, everything that we do is digital. So, for example, when you uh, get the notice for you to inscribe your uh, for the next course, uh, when you receive the the messages that you are going to start with the link for the chat, with the link for the for everything, and also. Uh, for the uh, for the class itself that is being delivered right now, right? So this is a very example of digital distribution. Very nice, very good. So that's why it says depending on the kind of business and industry. And here you can see that there is like a, a little example, right? In the top, there are many ways uh, depending on the on the um, the way of the channel. So for example, the channels it can be organic you can see there that it can be for example by yahoo or google that is something that is organic uh, paid for example something that is paid is the google ads that a company comes and pay for an advertisement and google itself they they use machine learning for they to identify what kind of customers are going to be able to see this this advertisement depending on your needs or, or what you are doing 
The other one, it says direct. So direct is like a website, uh, push notifications, email, customer base. So all those are direct digital channel because uh, it's like uh, somebody's looking for a product and you know that you can go to a website so you can see everything, all the information about that one. Referral is another digital marketing channel. So for example, affiliates, when you say to a friend, if you bring me one customer, I'm going to provide you a discount or you are going to give me this or uh, product for free or anything like that. We have organic like uh, Facebook or Pinterest. So I like things like that. And another example of pay uh, also is Facebook. So for Facebook, we have two. You can post anything in marketplace that is for free or you can pay for an advertisement in Facebook. So one might be an organic that is for free and the other one is paid that is also in Facebook. And uh, below you will see like a little ecosystem, right? So you have an input and the company has an output. And then the, we have the distribution pipeline that depends on the steps that we're going to check later on. And we reach the key customer that is like our final client uh, for our distribution channel. So uh, sometimes uh, for the digital one, we, the company, they use algorithms, data, software, hardware, so you can get into the consumers. And also this is an input for the company for they to identify what will be the best digital system in this case, or any kind of uh, channel that you would like to distribute. So it's very interesting how this uh, work. Uh, let me ask you, do you have any questions? Uh, only our uh, opinion is very interesting that now you can buy online, you can pay online, but you can receive your product in, in, on physical in your house, in your office, in a different place. It's a, I think, a combined, I don't know. Combined. Combine a uh, service because you can pay and and ads by online, but receive your service in physical. That is very, very true. Actually, that is that is something that happened. It was happening before the pandemic, but with the pandemic, is now stronger, right? that you go online, you can pay for products, you can see the features, the characteristics of a product or a service, and then you just can receive it at home. So that is very, very good. And uh, you know, uh, technology is so far that I was reading that for the pandemic, FedEx and DHL, they were delivering some packages, small packages uh, with drones. So that was amazing, I mean, uh, it was very, very good. Nice. Any other opinion on both? Sure. Uh, a distribution digital can be when the uh, the companies send us the bills, the bills by mail. It's a distribution. Very good. Yeah, that is a distribution because you are receiving that in the digital and they distribute the payment for that one. You pay for that one and then you get the renewal of the service for the next month. Definitely that is a distribution, a uh, digital distribution channel. Good. Any other comment? Okay. Why is important a distribution channel? So there are many reasons. We're going to check this one and then you can tell me any other reasons that you might think about it. So number one is this reduction of distribution costs. Why do you believe this is important? Because if you have a good distribution channel, you reduce your cost 
because you have a, a process, a formal process that your product, eh, such as a digital or physical, um, how do how do you uh, send to customer, final customer? Very good. Thank you, Lourdes. Any other opinion on this? The first one. If the company reduces the cost, the company is going to have more profits. Definitely, right? Everything here is money. Logistics is everything about money. So uh, the price of the product at the end is going to be the same, right? I mean, there are no companies that are going to come and tell you, the consumer, um, now we have reduced the distribution cost. So I'm going to reduce the price of the of the product, right? So nobody does that. So what they do is they try to reduce costs. And if they do that one. They move the product uh, to places you can go. You can go. Distribution channels to move the product. Yeah. But I need I need more. No. That is. I, I don't know how do you say. Eh, que te llevan el producto a lugares que no llegas. O sea, no sé cómo podría yeah, decir they eso. Get, uh, you can say like you get the product to places where you don't go. You, you can go. So you yeah, this is very important. Definitely. So uh, that is, I uh, remember that the main purpose of a company, of a business is profit. That is the main purpose, right? The more money that you can get, the best, uh, the better, right? Because that is the main purpose. They are always looking for that's why have you noticed something? For example, have you noticed that the products are not the same? So 10 years ago, cars were better. Uh, televisions, they were better in quality, I mean, uh, because you can have a TV for 20 years and nothing happened. Now the quality is better. Uh, I mean, everything is more advanced, but uh, the the internal quality is not that good. Cell phones is a is a thing that happens. Sometimes you have a very good cell phone, but you need a better one, right? So money is everywhere. So number two, it says increase the efficiency of distribution. Why is this important? It is very important, teacher, because when you have a good efficiency of distribution, your uh, customer are satisfied with your uh, service or with your product. And this point, uh, do that you have better day by day. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Carla. Any other opinion on this? It's the same teacher. If you increase the efficiency of the distribution, your client is going to be happy with your service and the client is going to talk about your company to the other people, to their person, they, they uh, maybe some one day they uh, look or need your service and the company is going to be, uh, is going to be making uh, profits. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, actually, it's I mean, uh, the customer is going to be happier. I mean, if you are expecting, for example, with Google, right? When you uh, purchase food on the app, uh, you expect that to be fast, right? To be there because you're hungry. So that is important. 
Also, if you are efficient in the distribution, you will be able to deliver more packages. I mean, if you delivered in the past four packages in, a, in one hour, and now you deliver eight packages, so it's double, double the income, right? You can sell double the price on that one. So that is very good as well. So number three says increase the customer satisfaction. So that is linked to the number two, but in what other ways the customer is satisfied is that if the distribution channel is good. For example, mm -hmm. in the case, the, the product, maybe the product are the raw materials, materials or the other process of production in, in the case on the industry man, the industry sector is very important that the company is, have the the companies have the the product in just time because the programmation in, 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 is very very important when the companies has the, the how do you say, uh, providers is a, uh, how do you providers. say, Pro providers, providers, the trust, 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 because the change of the, the production require the materials in time, because is um, is money when the the production is the don't don't compliance the programmation of the yes is very good yeah mm -hmm. yeah in the in the process of industry that is very important definitely that is very very important and it's also related to the costs. Next, any other opinion about this one? The number three, increase the customer satisfaction. Okay, remember also that it's not only a fact of being in time, also it's a, a, another thing that is important is the quality of the product. The, uh, not only the product itself, but the box or the bag where you receive that one, right? If it's safe, if it's um, not damaged. So that is also in good condition. Distribution. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I mean, if it's very fast, but the package is damaged, it's not good, right? So it has to be fast and also has to be good and uh, the package has to be exactly the way that we uh, expect when we are the customers right so that's also very very important and now the the way of the delivery the um, who deliver the product is the contact contact the first contact the personal contact with the clients is that the imaging in the general is very important that the compliance be delivered in for the continue <laughs> the and you say repeat the 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 Porsche the, the Porsches the repeat the when the when the clients has the good experience in the business is sure the other the other order for your company and when the client is not happy with your service bye bye change the, change the company that's true that happens a lot. I mean, uh, 
it's as I was, uh, we were telling, it's not just the, the fact that it's fast, but also has to be in good condition. The appearance of the people or the delivery option uh, should be nice. I mean, everything is important, right? And uh, you can gain a new customer or you can lose a client. So that depends on this specifically. So that's why it's very important because uh, it's not only how fast or how, how good or the price on, on this one, but also the impact that this distribution channel might be in the person that is going to maybe continue purchasing or maybe not. It's Number a, four is, oh, um, go ahead. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yes, it's very important that you have a, a customer satisfaction in your business because this depends your your publicity publicity because all customer uh, talk about your service is a very very impact publicity that when you when when a customer talk about bad uh, X service. That is true. I mean, it's very, very important. It's very important. Even if your business is a small one, it's very important for, for you to be careful on details, details that maybe you don't pay attention at the beginning, but then you need to, to check into that. Very good. Yeah. So the no number four says reduction of time consumed in handling the goods. What is this about? Anybody? Reduction of time consuming handling the goods. Okay, I'm going to speak on this. <laughs> it's, uh, well, time is not only the delivery. Delivery is very important, but it's not the only part of the distribution channel. So when, for example, you have products and the products are in a warehouse, they have to be in a, in a way that you can get them very fast and put them in a truck with, I mean, everything that should be in good condition. So maybe this number four and number five is going to be linked because number five says reduce the risk of damage and risk of delay. So they are together because is the way that people is going to handle the products even in the warehouse, right? So also that is important, not only in front of, in front of the customer, but also since you are in the warehouse and you are handling that one, that is also very important. It has to be fast and it has to be also uh, taking care of the products so you don't damage them at all. So those are very, very important. What is damage? Anybody in English, please? Anybody? Damage, damage. Can is tell when, me what when, is damage? Damage is when something is broken. Or uh, how do you say? For example, in our case, when we receive uh, the boxes, apacharas, how do you say apacharas? <laughs> Aplastadas. As you can say crack. Uh -huh, that, that, uh -huh. Aplastadas. Mm -hmm. We receive sometimes uh, the boxes from the from the how do you say aduana? Oh my god. Oh. We receive, we, re, we, receive yeah. we receive sometimes the merchandise uh, damage um, is the is the 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 bad handling that the the personnel have or maybe also from the beginning from the uh, from the um, supplier supplier yeah supplier yeah, yeah. from the supplier yeah sometimes we have to we have to talk and we have to to tell to the supplier we received the 
to boxes damaged and or sometimes the the merchandise is missing and they verify and they say oh yes i'm sorry we we, we make a mistake and the merchandise is here we confuse the package and there's a lot of things yes yeah, that is true. so everything that, that you yes. say is very important yes. Yes. yes teacher is the similar degrees of the impairment impairment or loss of the mm -hmm. goods or product mm -hmm. The consequence is the loss. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, good. Yeah, that is true. And that's when you were going to say something. Yeah, when, when, when example of the, the question, the car new is a destroy the example. Yeah. Yeah, everything is important. I mean, uh, even when uh, it's not going to be like the final consumer, you need to be careful about that one on the way that you are going to manage the goods, services, the papers, everything is important. So, and you have to invest time and money. So everybody's satisfied at the end of this. Good. Any questions about this? Questions. Okay, I have a final one here that is like a little distribution channel. This is a small one. So you can see here that here first we have the producer, right? So this is the manufacturer, okay? But sometimes as somebody say at the beginning of the class, it's not just a matter for you to go and take it to the consumer. Sometimes depending on the size of the company, depending on the product, the services that we are providing we can have direct sale a direct distribution or we can have an indirect so in the direct you go to producer and then go to the final consumer that is kind of easy in paper right now remember that depending on the product it should be i mean a lot of steps a lot of things that you probably need to do the other one it says a producer that goes to an agent what do you believe is an agent here? Salesman? It's something like a salesman, right? An agent is like, I am the producer and the agent comes and identify places where I can put my product. So it's like, he doesn't do actually anything, you know, he just gets the contacts and yeah. has a percentage sometimes on that one. Then the agent uh, gets in touch with one that is the wholesaler. Do you know what is a wholesaler? So it's a personal company that sells in a large, in a, in a large quantities. Very good, large quantities, large right? quantities. Like, like for example, Walmart, we were speaking about Walmart before. So Walmart is a wholesaler. There are yeah. lots of things there, right? Uh, and also it can be direct to a, a retailer. What is a retailer? I think that retailer is it's a sale of minimum quantity. Something like that, right? So we have the producer that is the one who produces everything, a lot of things. The agent is the one who handles the contacts. You know, I have a, a new supermarket that they want to sell our products. Very good. So they pay with them. The wholesaler is large amounts. The retailer is small amounts, but not to the final consumer. So retailer is like, uh, the wholesaler, for example, is going to be like uh, 10,000 products. A retailer is going to be like 500 products that can sell to the final consumer, for example. It might be something like that. So sometimes, sometimes a product can come from the producer 
to an agent and then to a wholesaler and then to a retailer and then to the consumer. Of course, that makes the product more expensive for the consumer. So if that is the if that happens, if if, if it's going to be more expensive for the consumer to pay for this product because I need I mean that uh, you pay to the agent, to the wholesaler or the retailer. Why do you believe that it's necessary sometimes to do all these things, to go to an agent, wholesaler or retailer? What would that be? Why is necessary that thing? If it's going to be more expensive, why? I mean, it's not easier for a producer to go and, and put that into the consumer. What do you think? Hey, teacher, I think uh, when the product is expensive, is uh, for much intermediary, uh, pro, uh, agent, hustler, y retailer, o sea, mayoristas y, y, y minoritarios, when the product uh, are in the hand, the consumer is expensive. Yes, yeah, sometimes it happens. I mean, uh, some it's products probably... sometimes they are more expensive. Uh, go ahead. Is better direct sell? Okay. For me, it's direct sell. Okay. So it's better. But uh, wait. So if it's better, why? The question is why some producers prefer to go to an agent, to a wholesaler, or to a produce to a wholesaler and retailer. Why? Why do you believe that happens? I think that is. is mm. For example, in our cases, one of these days we need some product, but we finish, but we need three units. And we, we went to a, a retailer because we need, we have to, uh, um, how do you say? We have to, uh, we had a date to, to, to the final client, uh, we, we have a con a contract, and we say we 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 bring the product in March fourth, and we don't we we don't have the pro the product complete, and we have to go to a retailer. The cost is very, the cost was very expensive, more expensive than our cost, but we have the necessity. And. Teacher, I think yes. that each level have a ben have a different benefit because ha has level. Uh, I imagine that a different price because the quantity of sell is a different a uh, world seller or in comparison uh, to consumer, for example. Entonces, the price is changed because uh, the, the quantity of, of sell is a difference too. Very good, perfect. Yeah, everything is, uh, is important. As, I mean, if you are the producer, remember that you have machines, depending on the size, but it, we're talking about large companies, of course. Um, and those, they have machines, they have a lot of people working in producing this one. And sometimes it's very complex, not only to produce, but also to distribute that one to, let's say to the whole country or to one city. So the producers sometimes they, they better focus on the, on the production of the, service or the goods or the anything that you are doing and then they prefer to to give a price that is not that high 
uh, to other people like wholesalers and retailers. Uh, so they do the other part of the job. So we produce. We're going to do a million cans of soda, for example. Uh, but I mean, we don't have the time to go and, and buy trucks or uh, buy stores across the city. So everybody has that one. So sometimes it's easier. And uh, the good thing is that it provides job for other people. I mean, the agents, for example, they, the agents, they don't have the capabilities to produce a lot of things, but they have the contacts. So they have a specialized point in that one. The first one they produce and they are specialized in producing. The agent, they have the contact, the wholesaler, they have the space and the trucks and the, uh, the procedure to get all the products done in the, in the places that they need to be. So sometimes it's better that way. It's faster. It's going to be better even for the consumer, even if it's a little bit more expensive, maybe not that expensive, but uh, sometimes it's much better to do it that way because it's yes. going to be more convenient but, for everybody. But depend of the, 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 the structure the structure of the distribution depends on the, the product. For example, in the case of the parts of the, the cars, the producers is in Asia because in a specific kind of the vehicle in, is in Asia, the producer. Now, the the quantity of the import, uh, for example, in the market, on the central market, is not attractive for the big producers in the Asia. And uh, our market need an agent, a big agent, that for the, um, for the, to the agent, does the big business for the different market and because uh, the our quantity we, we buy the, the producer china is not is not attractive the, the, in a specific the salvadorian market is not attractive for the producer but the a strategy is buy a big volume through uh, an agent. Yes, it's necessary in, 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 in that example for the import, the spart of vehicles um, or, or specific, a specific product in require the bull seller, retailer, uh, the complete chain of the distribution because it's necessary because we in the in local market we don't have the producers mm -hmm. very good perfect yeah that is a very nice opinion actually that depends on the needs right depends on the needs of the companies of the distribution channel um, countries I mean uh, some some materials we cannot find it here so you need to buy them from other countries and uh, i mean that's the way it is right we cannot do anything about it and the good thing is that nowadays uh, it's, it's easier to get uh, communication with a lot of companies around the world so it's going to be easier for us to to get the products or the materials that we need in, at the right time and at the right price. So that is very, very good. Good. Any other opinion before we almost finish it? Okay, so it's very important that you try to, to participate. I know that there are only two hours, okay? Uh, I know that is not a, a lot of time. Uh, and I know that the topics are like 
uh, very specific in some parts of the businesses. First thing is that if you have questions about anything, if you have questions about a word, uh, something that you don't know exactly what is this about, please ask questions. And not only me, but other people can help you on this. Uh, if we don't know the answer, we're going to research. For sometimes we can bring a question that is something that we don't know, but we can research on that one. That is for sure. Uh, also, we are going to to speak sometimes things that are not related with the, with the class, with the manual. And the objective of that one is just to have a conversation, just to speak and try to, we're going to try to start being a little bit more fluent. So we're going to speak a little bit faster, but also in a good way, in a way that everybody understands what we are talking about. So sometimes we're going to do certain activities that is going to be encaminated into that way. So um, my best advice for you is to practice, speak. Um, I know that this is just the first class, but it was very good because uh, we speak a lot, uh, but try to speak, I mean, Try to speak because this is the main objective of the class is for you to practice. Practice here is very, very important, okay? So do you have any questions before we finish? No, teacher. Perfect. Remember that we need to do the homework number 1.1 today. So uh, we are on a good pace towards the end of the of the class. I remember that the end of the class is going to be around 20 or 21 of April, something like that. It's, it's a Thursday, I remember, uh, just because we are going to have vacations uh, in the second week of April, I guess, two or three days. So that's why it's going to move to the next week, the end of this. So uh, if you have questions, remember that you can chat with me directly. And if you need help on anything, of course, I will be there for you. So I'm going to check the attendance if you don't have any other question and we will be finishing. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Urgate. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present, teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present teacher. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltran. Present teacher. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Present teacher. Good night. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here, good night. Good night. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Perfect. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. See you tomorrow and have a good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, good night.
tomorrow. And Nelson, Good you were telling night. me something. Good night. Yes, teacher. I know how the material in the platform. I know how the 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 task the day the today. today. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I report that already. They say that tomorrow they are going to help you. Okay. Thank you. Very well. It was a pleasure. Good night. Good night. Okay. Only Sulma is here. Okay. Okay, hello, Ada Patricia Linares. How are you? Oh, fine, teacher. Fine, fine. Uh, um, ¿Cómo le digo? Yo casi que no, no, no es que no pueda hablar en inglés, sino que se me dificulta más la pronunciación, el vocabulario y todo. Así es que siendo la primera clase, permítame, por favor, eh, hablarlo así <risa> rapidito. Este, es, es muy difícil para mí ser la primera, porque pues si es la primera clase, uno no, no hay un tema específico, aunque sí hay un tema, pero este, en este caso yo necesito conocer cuál es su forma de de enseñanza, ¿verdad? Este, para poder decir, yo no entendí esto, yo no entendí lo otro. Ahora, hay una pregunta que sí me gustaría saber. El módulo anterior tuvimos, este, a lo que estoy viendo ahorita con respecto a usted, de que en el módulo anterior se fue mucho el tema de mercadeo, lo que se habló, y hoy estoy, si no mal he entendido, es el de ventas, ¿verdad? Sería Algo entre sí, ventas sí. y logística. Por, por ejemplo, sí. que estamos viendo, sí, el canal de distribución es eh, como la, la salida de un uh -huh. producto hacia los consumidores o hacia algunas otras tiendas o cosas por el Entonces, por ahorita solo estamos hablando del canal de distribución, pero va enfocado como en la logística, ¿verdad? Como en... Ajá. Entonces, mi pregunta es... Eh, el módulo se va a tratar así, no he, yo no es que esté acostumbrada al manual, al, al libro que se nos da, solo es saber que, que, que si, si, si ese va a ser su método, su ritmo de, de enseñanza, ¿verdad? De, de hacer así como hoy, hoy por hoy lo, lo hizo. En general sí, aunque siempre metemos otras actividades. Ahora fue un poco diferente porque es la primera clase, pero a mí me gusta uh -huh. ir viendo cómo son todos los alumnos para ir metiendo también otras cosas. Como les decía, por ejemplo, ahora al final de la clase, eh, de repente vamos a hablar de cosas que no son relacionadas con el tema para, para poder usar también otro tipo de vocabulario. ¿verdad? De uh -huh. repente vamos a hablar de la pandemia, no sé, de alguna cosa. Entonces, si se termina el tema, yo los últimos minutos lo utilizo para, para eso, para hablar, ¿verdad? Para hablar, que puede ser? De cualquier cosa. Ok, o sea que no, no va a ser mucho como hemos, estamos acostumbrados a, a, a las sesiones aparte, trabajar en grupo o cosas así. Sí, también lo voy a hacer, eh, también lo vamos a ir haciendo. Entonces, vamos a hacer algunas lecturas, eh, vamos a hacer algunos dictados, vamos a hacer uh, algunas, de repente, pues alguna presentación pequeñita de algún tema, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En unos cinco minutos, eh, para que usted pueda tener el tiempo de prepararse y venir a la clase y decir lo que tiene que decir. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, se va viendo el, el aspecto de que usted hable lo más que se pueda. Entonces, ahora, de hecho, pues fue bastante libre, fue como que quien quiere leer, ¿verdad? Pero de repente a mí me gusta decir, a la Patricia, ayúdame con esto, por favor, o qué opina usted de esto. Entonces, y sí, de repente también cuando haya temas que podemos discutir o trabajos que podemos hacer, lo hacemos ya en, en los break rooms, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sí, porque le digo, o sea, nosotros, bueno, en mi caso, pues no hablo de mi hermana, pero en mi caso, este, eh, saber, pues saber si me voy a basar mucho en el estudio, porque pues sí, a mí me, como le digo, se me dificulta mucho, yo creo que es más nerviosismo, más falta de costumbre y cositas así, de que no hablo el inglés, lo hablo mega, mega lento, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, eh, eh, me pongo a estudiar, o sea, en los ratitos libres que tengo en mi trabajo, y, o un poquito antes, dependiendo si vengo temprano, 
este, me preparo la clase, ¿verdad? Por eso la pregunta es si usted se basa también en el, en el, en la, ¿cómo se llama? En el, en el manual que, que se nos proporciona, pues. Sí, definitivamente si no, va a ser. Pues, este, pues, si no, pues es, es aco, acorde a lo que usted va enseñando, así yo ya voy preparada de lo que, de cómo más o menos usted nos va a, a dar la clase de la noche. Sí, la verdad es que sí, sí vamos a ocupar el manual, de hecho va a ser la parte principal. Entonces, uh -huh. ahora los temas que vimos son generales, pero ya mañana vamos a empezar a ver el manual. Uh, en uh -huh. los otros módulos, a veces yo lo hago casi siempre los viernes, pero en este caso, porque el tema, los temas son bien importantes, que lo vayamos viendo juntos, entonces lo vamos a ir viendo entre la clase. Sin embargo, no es lo único, quizás, uh -huh. no sé si los otros módulos las personas se basaban solo en el manual del libro, pero a mí me gusta traer otras cosas, ¿verdad? Y quizá también una cosa que sí me gusta mucho es hacerlo hablar. Entonces, ahorita, como le digo, vamos iniciando, pero vamos a ir aterrizando en el punto en el que, va por ejemplo, yo sé que todo nos da pena y nos da, nos da que si me equivoco y todo eso, pero el objetivo es ese, que al final del módulo usted hable, ¿verdad? Y si se equivoca, le corregimos y no pasa nada. ¿verdad? Si aquí hasta yo me puedo equivocar. Entonces, ese es el objetivo. El objetivo que, es que usted ya pueda comunicarse, tal vez no de una manera así al 100%, pero, vale, por ejemplo, ahora estuve viendo que hay varios que estaban hablando, pero hay gente que no habló. Entonces, eso lo vamos a ir metiendo después, ¿verdad? De sí, es que, que lo que tenemos. pasa es que creo que es por el hecho ese de que no es que estemos acostumbrados al manual, no es, sino que hoy por hoy ya hay un, ¿cómo le puedo decir yo? Como un tema específico. Por eso le decía yo, el módulo anterior es el, el, el mercadeo, vamos a decir así, y pues sabemos, en mi caso, ¿verdad? yo no soy nada de ventas, entonces que se hable de ventas, como yo no, yo no trabajo de eso, digamos, no entiendo de eso, ¿verdad? entonces me quedo, y creo que por ahí van las, las otras personas que no, que no, que no participaron, en mi, como en okay. mi caso, ¿verdad? Entonces, dar una idea de un, de, de en este caso, de, de ventas, por decirle algo, este, como no conozco al ramo, entonces no tengo, digamos, no tengo cómo opinar, ¿verdad? Pero no, no es el problema. Yo, de hecho, eso es lo que se, de eso se trata, ser diverso. No solo se va a la diversidad, no solo se va a enfrascar en una sola cosa, porque el inglés no solo es una cosa, es cantidad de verdad, solo es irse acostumbrando de acuerdo al profesor que se va teniendo Sí, sí, la verdad es que eh, por eso yo le decía, vamos, sí vamos a verlo del manual pues, pero de repente a mí me gusta hablar de cualquier otra cosa para tener esa libertad que es lo que usted uh -huh. dice, a veces hay gente que sí es muy experta y le va a gustar mucho hablar de este tema, pero va a haber gente que va a ir aprendiendo no solo el vocabulario de inglés, sino que de qué se trata todo esto, entonces uh -huh. de repente para variar un poco, de repente yo a veces cambio ah, hablemos de otra cosa y y hablamos, pues, de, de manera general. Entonces, vamos a ir tratando de hacer como un balance en todo. ¿verdad? Ok. Bueno, teacher, esa era mi, mi duda, les digo, porque hoy estuve así escuchando mucho, ¿verdad? Este, pero, pero no, me encanta, me, eh, me encanta, como le digo, conocer cuál es la metodología de cada profesor. Por ejemplo, en el, en el módulo anterior no hubo mucha comunicación. Nunca en mi caso entendí cuál era el fin del el profesor que teníamos porque pues no no había no, no hubo la comunicación necesaria ¿verdad? Y, y pues y quizás ese fue mi error siendo la primera siempre en el, en, de, la, de esta sesión siendo la primera no el, mi error fue no preguntarle cuál, fue su, cuál era ¿verdad? entonces pero ya lo sé y pues porque le digo o sea si me gusta prepararme un, que sea unos 10 minutos antes relajarme y ver de qué se va a tratar la clase pero si usted dice que sí vamos a ocupar el manual, pero no esa va a ser la base, ¿verdad? Entonces... Sí, sí. Sería como el 85% de las clases van a ser basadas en el manual, y de repente, como le digo, de repente cambiamos y hacemos, vamos a hablar de otras cosas que tal vez van a derivar de lo mismo, pero va a ser un, algo un poquito más, más abierto para que todos hablemos de, de cualquier cosa. Que queramos hablar. De cualquier cosita, ¿verdad? Como no, teacher, muchas gracias, y espero aprender mucho de usted hoy esta vez, ¿verdad? Este, claro. Y pues a mí me encanta escuchar mucho por, 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 lo, por lo que le digo, o sea, sí, el, mi trabajo requiere mucho, más que todo español, porque soy, yo, yo, soy, yo soy digitadora, pero, 
no, no me enfrasco en inglés, entonces en la noche estaré, es otro cambio de, de, de cosa. Entonces, sí, he ido aprendiendo a través de todos estos módulos y pues espero también en este que no sea la excepción. Perfecto, no será un placer y cualquier cosa estamos a la orden. O sea, que me puede escribir al chat directo o al grupal y estamos para ayudarte. Como no, teacher. Muchas gracias hoy. Ok, it's a pleasure. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye.